funny, but... Uh, come along, eh, Mark? Fill them up, then. Yeah, it is easy, Dad. It's early yet. Uh, well, if a man can't have a stimple on his own birthday... Hey, take it easy. It's up hill back and we don't have to carry you. Ah, now, you never see me the worse for drink, Max. Oh. Could spend rest of year drying out, can't you, old lad? The only time I ever got drunk for Armistice Night. Which war was that, then? <laughs> oh, ah, very funny, but I'll see you out, eh, Moss, really? <laughs> we make old bones, we Pearsons. Sugden's is different. I'm oh. <laughs> surprised by Eck, your Jacob could shift his ale. You get on with your mm. serving. No one can say your two boys are hard drinkers, that's for sure. Me mum saw to that. Tough on Joe, though. Meaning what? Having crashed just after he left here. I told police he only had a couple. What did you tell him that for? They were witnesses. Police aren't interested in a couple of half pints. Seemed to be. Constable Bow were in here only to other afternoon, asked me to make a statement. Said most likely I'd be called as witness. Witness? Haven't they told you? <laughs> All done. I'm a very good washer up. <laughs> All alone? No. Right. Where's Jack? Gone. Gone where? Just gone. Not the worst of the argument, did he? There wasn't any argument. <laughs> At least he knows when he's beaten. You mean the right of way? No, I don't. You don't mean you quarrelled over chickens? Let's say we had a personal disagreement. At any rate, I don't think Mr. Jack Sugden will be coming here much in the future. They are our neighbours. Neighbours is all. I've nothing against the rest of the family, but from now on I'll say good morning to the man, but he'll not get his feet under my table again. Well, that's going to be fun. What? Driving through their yard every time you want to go anywhere. I'll get a builder up next week to make a new entrance. From now on we keep ourselves to ourselves. But what happened? Let's talk about something more interesting. <laughs> Who's paying for this lot, then? <laughs> How much? Doesn't get any cheaper since last round. Oh, Your yeah. Jack not joining party. Ah, later. Doesn't exactly splash his money around, does he? <laughs> no reason why he should. Oh, cheers. Oh, nice cheers. to know it's there, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. Right, is it? Ta. Not all retiring yet, then. Thought yeah. when oh. I saw new Land Rover. Well, you just think again. Thought you said it were pinched in Bradford. So it were. They're looking for Land Rover over Huddersfield wages snatch. It were on telly tonight. Got alibi, have you? We were in pictures. Oh, that's what they all say. Now we know where money's coming from. Very oh, funny. Because if it were me, I wouldn't stay around here, walking myself to death. Off to Riviera, eh? <laughs> Take it easy for the rest of my days. Like that, would you, Mrs. Skilbeck? Customers want serving. Customers. They can make one pint last all night. Oh, oh I wish we'd gone down to the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. It's starting, then. What is? Talk. Oh, we were only joking. Well, happened it was this time. For Get it. Folks can't help wondering that's when they start to talk. It's up to us to stop it. Ow. Jack's got to tell us what he's been doing in London. Oh, easy said. If he won't, I'm going to find out for myself. <laughs> Not a great one for staying in in the evening. If you two want to go out... We're don't... fine. Anyway, we don't want you ending up in the fireplace again. Oh, go on out. I can't face the rest of the evening playing gooseberry. I'll go out myself if I could. Perhaps we could pop down to the wool pack before they close. Well, if you like, only... No, not if you don't want to. Well, did Jack say where, where he was going? I don't see why we should give up going to the wool pack just because we might bump into your cranky friend. It wasn't much fun last time. I'll be ready for him this time. I don't much fancy being fought over in a public bar. I promise I'll take him outside. Besides, I could do with the exercise. <laughs> Oh, he's having dinner with his friends. Well, it don't take all night, does it? They do things proper there. Look, there's now you can do with food except eat it. You don't have to bolt it like pigs at trough, though. Yeah, who are you calling names? Well, it's our same at our place. You put food on table, there's not another word. Just a lot of grunting and scraping to this uh, one. Uh, well, our different ways. Well, it's about time you change some of his. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, you can't say that. You've never caught it. I'll be saying it. Yes, he says, Mr. Pearson. Oh, thanks, love. Can I buy you a drink? He's all right, thanks. <laughs> we'll have one together later. Eh? Right, Romeo, it's a date. <laughs> Seen your Joe today? See a lot of them, don't you? Feel sorry for him. Not the only one. Can I give him a message next time I go up? When'll that be? Soon. Thought you were working. Early morning shift. Oh, aye. What doing? <laughs> Making buttons. <laughs> you might fasten a couple on that blouse while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> your Jack coming in? Why? Just wondered. Told me he might. He didn't have enough troubles. Still, Joe's got more sense than to take up with the likes of her. 
You don't have to go to the park. Well, what do you suggest? Well, we could go for a drive. Come on, look at the countryside through the window. It's dark. Then there's not much point. Anyway, the top's down. The damp country air might be bad for your rheumatism. Marion? Yes? Will you marry me? <laughs> Whose turn is it then? It's mine! By oh, cow, you've got the women well trained in this family. Oh, Here comes the lost sheep. What'll it be then, <laughs> Mr. Sogden? Scotch. Double. That's right, they've got it. Start with you. Well, now, you seem to have enjoyed your dinner. Oh? <laughs> she do the cooking. You mean Marion? Right. And why the hell can't you say so? She's got a name. She's not one of us. You're damn right, she's not. Hey, what's up with him? Shh. I think he's never fleeing in here. Oh, shut up. That's enough. <laughs> We were having a good time till you came. Sorry, I'll go again. Hello, Jack. Well, look who's here. Come and join the party. <laughs> because of Peter Hesketh? I told you no. But you'd tell me if there was anybody else. Is there? I thought there was. Anybody I know? I'd rather not talk about it. OK. I'm sorry. Promise me something. What? If it doesn't work out, you'll let me know. It's not like that. I don't understand. It's finished. Well, in that case... No, it's too soon. That is, I think it's finished. For you? Or for him? For me, I suppose. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be dropping in. Nice to know someone appreciates me. Hey, Ramos, where's that drink? Come in, up. We'll make it two. I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> well, Grandad, how does it feel to be 87? <laughs> I'm 76. Must be all that riotous living. <laughs> hey, chalk it up, Amos. If I go feeling for money now, I'm liable to get my face left. <laughs> There's plenty of chairs. Yeah, Matt, why don't you sit Peggy on your lap? Or maybe she'd prefer you to sit on her. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Work it out for yourself. Ever since you came on, you've been up with that Shut up, Peggy! Hey, Whoa! Hey, Who does he think he is? He's, your brother. He's no brother of mine. That's enough! He's not one of us. Not anymore. He's not. You're right, Peggy. It's a damn fool to think I was. Oh, she didn't mean that. Oh. Where are you going? Outside, where I belong. Come in. Well, I mustn't be late. I'm an early morning shift. So am I. Oh. Well, a nice birthday I'm having. I was looking forward to having a drink with her. Now he's gone and pinched her. Cheer up, Grandad. There's always next year. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I've got to breathe, you know. Can't think why. Waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, Mr. Harrison. Evening, Miss Wilkes. <laughs> helping do you no oh, you're the boss that's right i'm the boss and as it happens the boss is suffering from an old-fashioned disinclination to work to go with his old-fashioned hangover i see so if you'll just carry on there like a dutiful employee i'll carry on here like an irresponsible boss for a bit irresponsible isn't that what they're all saying You're never very free with your opinions, Matt, but what do you think? What do I think about what? About me. Me being here. As boss or brother-in-law? Well, I wouldn't have thought there was much question about that. Not after last night. Uh, we'll pack. Well, you heard Peggy. You were there. I'll say one thing for her, Matt. She's short and to the point, is our Peggy. And I told you she didn't mean out by it. You're not one of us. Not anymore, you're not. To my ears, that's pretty clear cut. You don't think she meant it? Forget it, Jack. Drunkenness, laziness, loose women, all the vices. Well, Peggy's convinced she's got the whole story. Who am I to prove her wrong? Story of my life, Matt. Story of your life in London, do you mean? Fancy it, do you? What? Mind, you'd find it a bit different from round here. 
Bond Street ladies with sharp teeth, gambling clubs, long odds and short drinks. Fancy all that, do you, Matt? Uh, I wouldn't mind having a look, but fancy it? No, I don't. Just thought I'd ask. Never know what people are thinking if you don't ask, do you? Well, now you know what I'm thinking. Good. And I'll tell you what else I'm thinking. I think you deliberately set out to ruin Grandad's birthday party last night. That wasn't really my intention, but I don't offer that as an excuse. I think I should apologise. Well, I know what I would do. I'm sure you do, Matt. I'm sure you always know what to do. Look, Jack, it takes quite a lot to make me angry, especially if I don't feel like it, and right now I don't feel like it. I'm sure I don't. All I'm trying to do is... All to... you've done so far is waste my time, which happens to be your time, in case you've forgotten. So if you don't mind, I'll get on with your work like a dutiful employee. Not waste any more. Good. I think I'll go and find the hair of that dog that bit me. But why write to you about it? What business is it of yours? None. Unless it affects you. You wouldn't believe a man like Merrick. Well, he is the father of the child. At least he thought he was. You do believe him. It's his word against Sugden's. You'd rather believe Sugden. Is that what you mean? I don't know. You went on seeing him knowing all about this. Yes. There's something else. Something I hoped I wouldn't have to tell you. That night we first went to the Feathers. Sugden was there. He had a woman with him. Oh? He stayed the night with her. There's no reason why he shouldn't. Oh, you knew all about that, too. Joe told me. He told me Jack's married. And that doesn't bother you either? No! Well, it bothers me! Last night, after dinner, I told Jack Sugden I didn't want him calling on you again. Does that bother you? No! You mean you'll go on seeing him anyway, married or not, whatever I say? No. What then? I've already decided. I don't care whether I ever see him again or not. Thanks, Amos. Hey, you'll get me into trouble, you will. Never. Pick me up, is it? Aye, ah, something like that. Uh, been talking of trouble. I had Constable Ball in here again this morning. Oh, really? Aye, ah, a couple of sheep killed sometime last night up on Langfell Road. Thought it might be one of my lot, did it? What's that? Reckon it could mean trouble for somebody. And then he wants to know if I've seen you this morning. Well, you have, haven't you? Of course, I know you don't drive a car out True, like that. Amos. So what do you think I should do? Well, not much you can do about it. That's right, there isn't. Oh. Well, Matt, I told him to come up at 11. I happen he got cold feet. I happen he couldn't get our Jack away. What do you say to tell him? What we agreed. Blackett's got some pullets going cheap. Ah, uh, when he found out he hasn't. Oh, is there we heard wrong? Oh, you think he's going to believe that? Won't matter, will it? We'll have decided. Oh, well, one way and another, our Jack's not going to like it. Too bad. We've got to do summat. Well, there's not much we can do. Jack is right. After last night in pub... Oh, you're only young once. Just talk I'll have at village. Not talk that worries me. When I see folks standing on street corners nattering away and they go silent when they see me, it's more than I can stand. First it was Ruth Merrick, and now it's her sister. Not to mention other things. Anyone say out to your face? <sighs> Laughing stock of village. We can't wait for Sugden's farm to pack up. If you ask me, that day's not far off. That's what worries me. Not talk. Ah, oh, she takes after her gran. <laughs> Always fretful carrying child. Child's got now to do here, Grandad. You ought to be getting changed now. Ambulance will be here by the time we finish. There's plenty of time. Won't be if Matt don't get here soon. Oh, there were no specialists in your gran's day, and no ambulances either. You had to walk. <laughs> Just wondering where you were. Oh, I thought I felt my ears burning. Jack gone to Blackett's? Aye. Right. Are you sure? We don't want him busting in. Well, he said he were going. You never can tell with him, though. All right, let's get on, then. Yeah. Well, Jack's not going to like it. Don't like it very much myself. <laughs> One, eight, two. Huh? Where are you? Partridge. Oh, Partridge. Ah, ah. 
No, going on a bit too long for my liking. I'm fed up with these thumping great crutches they've given me. <laughs> now I know how long John Silver must have felt. <laughs> All I'm short of is a blasted parrot. <laughs> no. Peter's my solicitor's handling everything for me. Yeah. You'll have to discuss the Dunley works with him. No, I'm keeping right out of it. I'm retired now, you know, Pargety. Right. Crafty devil. He does his best. He does what he feels like it. Well, you can't learn farming in a day. He's not farming, he's only playing at it. We manage. It's about all we do. What's his game, then? I don't know. For months now, he's been keeping us guessing. We don't know if we're coming or going. One day, he'll slave away as if one idea in his mind was making farm pay. Next, we don't know where he is. Oh, I can make a good guess, though. <laughs> right, then. Time's come when he's got to say one way or other. Oh, you know what he's like if you ask him a straight question. This time we won't let him wriggle out of it. How are we going to stop him? Give him an ultimatum. <laughs> What's so funny about yeah. that? I can just see me giving him an ultimatum. All right, you tell us one way or the other, or I'm off to join army. <laughs> <laughs> you see? What can we do? Well, there's now told any of us here. You can give you notice for a start. Oh, and what if he accepts it? Well, I'll go off to Otten and join Janie Ark in making plastic buttons. I can earn enough to keep us two till you get another job. You wouldn't. I would. And get national assistance to help pay for baby if it came to it. And what about your mother? You needn't worry about me. Well, that's it then. Either he runs place proper or he gets out. If he won't do either, we go. Who's going to tell him then? Morning, Mr. Sugden. Morning. Oh, we're just coming to see you. Found our Land Rover? Aye, last night in Derby. Good. Go and collect eggs or something. And don't come back till I tell you. I can't just stay and what? No, you can't. Here, take this. If it comes on to rain, stay in the shed. Where's Matt? Come inside a minute. I want to see Matt. He told me Blackett had some pullets for sale. Look, okay, Keith, come in. No. No. Tea. What is all this? Good interrogation technique. Thanks. Family have just had a meeting. Without me? No one's sure whether you're one of family or not. I don't get it. I'm going to ask you a straight question. And I want an answer. I'll do my best. You'll do more than that. You'll stay here till I get it. All right. It's this. Are you going on with farm? And if not, what are you going to do? You've asked that before. Now I'm asking for the last time. Last time? Never seen you look so cheerful. Got good reason to be. I know I'm here. No, I'm going home. Really? When? Any day now. Will it be all right if I come up and see you at home? I don't see why not. I don't think your ma liked me much. Her bark's worse than her bite. I shall miss it. Not coming up here to see you. Well, some people have a funny way of enjoying themselves. You won't be working yet, though, will you? I shouldn't think so. Not till they take all this stuff off. Well, I could come and see you and talk to you just like I do here. I could tell you all the news. Gossip more like. Marion Wilkes has got a new boyfriend. Who, who is it? Norman someone. Wears nice clothes. Amos reckons she's going to marry him. What does Jack say about that? We all want to know where we stand. We've had enough uncertainty. It's upsetting everyone. You can't run a place proper if no one knows where they're going. And if I can't give you an answer? Peggy's off to Hotton to work in plastics factory. Matt's going with her. And you? I'll clear out. Rent a cottage somewhere. Do a bit of housekeeping. But this is your home. And Peggy's. I know that. But might as well go now. Better that than see place go to rack and ruin, having to sell up. Well, it hasn't come to that yet. It's not far off. Farm can't function without a boss. And there's less money coming in now than before you came back. What happened to Grandad? Old people's home. Hell! Swearing won't help. 
So, so when do you want an answer? Now. I can't give you one now. There's, there's too many things unsettled. Settle them. Will you give me a fortnight? And let you duck out again. I won't. I promise. You've got to decide, son. What's the end of this family? All right, then. A fortnight. A fortnight today. Wednesday. Not a day later. It's a date. I think he fancies me a bit. Jack does? A bit. Not my type, though. You thought anything in trousers was your type? Well, if that's what you think. No, I didn't mean that. I should hope not. Have you ever been out with a girl? Hundreds. Name one. No. You've got to start sometime. If you was to ask me out now... I've got more sense. You'd like to, wouldn't you? I can tell. Only you're too shy. I'd like to talk to you for a moment. I have a couple of things to ask you. Right. Will you give a straight answer to a straight question? Seems to be the day for it. Will you? You know me. There's no point in going on then, is there? Try it. Jackie Merrick. What about him? Are you his father? Does it really matter? Of course it matters. Why? Why? He's got a happy home, moderately happy. He's got a mother and someone he calls father. If Tom Merrick's not his father, he'll never know, so what's the odds? Do you know what you're saying? I am not shy! Go on, then, ask me! No! See? All right. Really? Why not? I'm not really that people say I am. Shh. I just have to find that out, then, won't I? Better not let your ma know. I don't see how she could stop me. I wouldn't be too sure about that. What's done's done, if anything was done. What do you want, blood tests and a paternity suit? Who's that going to help? Or perhaps you think I'll make him a better father than Tom? If that's what you think, you don't know me at all. I would never have believed you could be so... Well, now you're learning. Any more straight questions? Just one. Who was the girl at the feathers? Daddy been getting at you. Who was she? An old friend. And you spent the night together for old time's sake? Don't tell me the bedrooms at the feathers are bugged. Did you or didn't you? I met a girl at the feathers. Who she was and what our relationship is is beside the point. That's all I wanted to know. I won't be owned. Not by you or anyone else. Certainly not by me. As long as that's understood. That's not what I meant. Oh? I meant I never want to see you again. So, end of beautiful romance. Please open the gate. 